Okay, we have just crossed the open gate. We are in Kruger and it is my first time in Kruger. I'm very excited. Can you um, believe that? No, I actually, a lot of people are very surprised by this because we've obviously traveled a lot and I, as a South African, I've never been to Kruger. So, but you're here. I'm you made here, it. made it fully loaded and ready for what's to come. I have no expectations. I've been told a lot and I don't want to listen. I just want to experience it for myself. This is a proper bucket list uh, adventure. We are heading to Satara camp. Yes. That's going to be our first stop. We're going to be camping there for five nights. It is known as Big Cat Country. Yes, I think so, the plains here, the open uh, savanna, definitely attracts the, a lion. Yes. Well. Let's hope we can find some for you. Otherwise, yes. have a look at the last video. <laughs> we saw some there. <laughs> minutes and we saw some cars up ahead we thought it was a parking lot no lion and then there's two four six eight big two it's about ten lions just lying in the road as we were on seeing these guys so early in our trip just got us even more excited for what was to come Two hours from Open Gate, we arrived at a green looking Satara camp. Okay, we've just chosen our camp spot. Yes. It's got enough shade for us, which is very important because yes. we actually have taken off the awning from our car. And it is extremely hot. We're expecting like 36 degrees tomorrow. Yes. So it's going to be, it's gonna be good. and 34 the rest of the week. So. so we've got some shade over there. Yes. We've got some shade over here. Yes. Along with the bry and the PowerPoint down there. And then the badger is just dusty and... He's about to explode, yeah. I think. After setting up in the midday heat, we wasted no time in heading off to the pool. And then of course indulged in a cheeky drink on the main deck of the restaurant. We spent the rest of the evening enjoying our camp and the great sunsets that Satara is famous for. This morning, we are heading on what has been called the most famous road in Kruger. Big call, we'll see. Um, obviously Very famous for a lot of sightings, a lot of cats. The road I'm talking about is the S100. It is from Satara and you drive to the Inwanetsi picnic site, which is exactly what we're doing. We've packed a little brunch in the back. That's, that's our plan this morning. I don't often like hyping up an area or a road, but expectations we've got a little guidebook here. We borrowed this from a friend. It's the Tinker's Kruger map. And this states that yeah. this is one of the best roads in Kruger. A lot of great stories come from this morning drive. Campfire talk always reverting to the great sightings experienced on this road. So we're going to have to see what we see. I'm just excited to be out in the park. Yeah, me too. There's always something to see on a morning drive in the park, and as we are also birders, we had a once in a lifetime sighting of a square tailed nightjar in broad daylight. As we made our way further along the S100, we understood why it is such a well known road. fun that you can do on the drive is stop off at the picnic site and rent a little scuttle, a little gas cooker and make yourself a little brunch or breakfast. So we're going large, we're doing bacon, egg, <laughs> croissants. 
And I guess uh, also nice to note that obviously on the drives you're not allowed to get out. So if you need a bathroom stop, this is somewhere you would do that. And stretch the legs. Stretch the legs, have a little break. You don't have to go all the way back to camp to eat. So that's exactly what we're doing. And yeah, it's looking good. Incident. Chanel was driving. She claims that two badgers, the badger, honey badgers, ran across the road behind us, and she saw it in the rearview mirror. And uh, it happened. I didn't see it, so we Skip. reversed. And I'm always skeptical about these sightings because we had a similar sighting in Sweden. Yes. Where we were driving on a dirt road in the far north, and you spotted a wolf. A wolf. Crossing the, road. crossing the road. I didn't see it. Yeah. So either my eyes are really, really bad or or you're just making this up. <laughs> so that's, those are the only two yes. um, possibilities. No, okay. I'm joking. <laughs> so that's pretty crazy. Um, no, I'm very excited that I managed to see two honey badgers. Yes, I'm telling this is the what truth. we came this to is, the Kruger this for. This is what we came for. I mean, the badger needed to meet other badgers. Yes. Re- I mean, there was no encounter. But... I saw shame. them, they were large, they were running across the road, and like you were about to say, we yes. reversed, mm-hmm. investigated the uh, crime scene. Yes, we saw, uh, I, I did see two paths going into the into the grass, so some animal had been there, and yeah. It was well done, much though. larger than a mongoose, and flatter to the ground than a warthog. Gotta be a badger. And it was a badger. Two badgers confirmed. I'm Not telling one, you. but two. Not one, but two. Very yeah, amped. I'm sorry you didn't see them. Next time. Next time. While most of the animals were hiding from the midday heat, we lit the fire and enjoyed some lunch. And I got a little visitor from one of the birds I really wanted to see most the carmine bee eater. We are up. <laughs> We're up. Oh, I don't know if I'm awake. Yes. I don't know if I'm awake. But we are up. I've we got woke my, up. got my coffee. Yes, but I don't know if I'm awake. Coffee. I got my breakfast to go already half eaten. Yes, we woke up at like quarter past four not knowing what the time was. So we were like, well, we're up. Let's just continue being up. And we've just joined the queue for the gate opening. I don't know if you can see, it's very foggy in here. <laughs> the gate opens in four minutes and we're going to head up north to yes. see what we can find. We're heading up to the Olifants camp today. Yes, so gates open 5.30, just FYI. At this time of year, yes. FYI, <laughs> Asterix put the gate times on screen because... So we're just waiting to get out and it's very foggy, very moody this morning. We did hear lion, I heard, quite close. I heard more than lion heard last night. I heard hyena. I heard trumpeting elephants. So There's a cacophony of sounds. Yes, there's a lot of activity out there. So let's see yes. if we can get some for you. <laughs> Even though it was a super gloomy morning and visibility was not that great to begin with, this day was by far the most successful, which tells you you should go out on the game drive no matter what the weather. Before the Olifants River, we came across a pack of wild dogs. We got to spend a few minutes just admiring them and how they interact with each other. It was by far the best sighting of our Sataris day. Wow. We just just had an an incredible (laughs) wild dog sighting. Yeah, so we've come off now and we've alighted out of our car on the Olifants Bridge, which you're allowed to. And we just stretching the legs. 
A few moments later, this massive hippo walked past, but as quickly as it arrived, it submerged itself and disappeared into the Olyphants River. The clouds then finally cleared up, and the Kruger heat reminded us of its presence. What you got there, Stevie? Making myself a little frappe, mm -hmm. ice frappe. Stirring it now, this double. Is the happiest you've been all day. This is by far the, <laughs> no, I'm joking, but it's close. It's close to be, mm. being the happiest. Okay, so you got a double espresso. Oh, the dance is coming out. Double espresso, let's <laughs> taste. Uh, sweetened a little more than usual. Mm. I don't normally drink cold coffee but when it's, what, 29, 30 degrees at 11 a.m., this is what you drink. Cheers. Sadly, our stay at Satara was coming to an end. It seems like this reminds us why we came to Kruger and why we love Africa so much. As you can see, the badger is full again. Yes. We've packed up. We packed up pretty badly. We were just kind of like, let's it, just get it in It there. always goes in one way and then <laughs> goes in another way. And yeah, we're sad to say goodbye to Satara, but it's been an incredible few days here. Yeah. Incredibly hot few days, but we've seen some amazing things. Yes. And have you enjoyed it? Loved it. Absolutely loved it. It's my first time in Kruger. I, I'm speechless. Okay, clearly. so it lived up so. to it. Live, um, live beyond the expectations, yes. so I'm thrilled. Because a lot of also, people said, sorry, before you, a lot of people built up the park. And yes, we came in and with, I ignored all of yeah, that. With your own expectations, and it's great to see that they've... But I am excited to be going south down the park onto our next camp, Loisabi.